Okay, for any two sets A and B, what we have is called the cardinal number formula. The number of elements in the union is equal to the number of elements in A plus the number of elements in B minus the number of elements in the intersection. Uh, let's label the regions like we've been doing. Try to understand why this formula would be true. The, uh, the number of elements in A are represented by region one and region two. The number of elements in B are represented by region two and region three. So what's been done here is region two is counted twice. And so what we do then is subtract off region two. That's the intersection is region two. Okay. And in doing that, we get the union who is definitely region one, region two, and region three. Okay. So this is a sort of a why this counting formula works. And now let's see it in action. If we know that the union is 78 and the intersection is 21, the question is, um, also we know that uh, B is 36, the question is then, um, how many are in A? So go back to the formula. Okay, and we just plug in, honestly, we don't need a Venn diagram. We could do a Venn diagram, but we, we don't even need it. With this formula here, the union is 78. The uh, B has 36 in it. The intersection has uh, 21 in it. And it's our job to then figure out how many are in A. So it's just a, just a math, of algebra, uh, solving an equation. I, so 36 minus 21 is 15. And honestly, all you got to do is take away that 15 from the 78. That'll tell you how many are in A. Okay, so 63 is the answer to the question. So it's called the cardinal number formula, and it relates the, uh, the intersection, the union, and uh, the entire sets A and B.